Oh, just what I need. And flamethrower recipes. Fuck yes! Fuck. I don't need missiles, I need grenades. Substantial stuff. Well, all the stim packs are good too. So were they the ones who tripped the pitching machine, or was it me? I'm willing to bet it was more me than them. Because we know we can kick your ass. Am I supposed to be scared yet? Because I'm not. Well, I think that's enough of the welcome party. So you can't sleep on that. I slept on worse shit. There we go. Oh well, nothing a couple of Simpax can't fix. Not bar the tour. Ooh, it's a big daddy! Bring it on, pansy ass. That all you got? Can't really do a lot when there's someone right in your face, can you? Whew! That was a mean son of a bitch. Why does they don't have a fucking behemoth down here? Hey, it's an actual pet. Oh my god, another one! That's right. All these grits. He's still absorbing it like he's a sponge. Ah, damn. He had to die. Seriously, like fucking damage sponges. Well, let's give this a shot. I'll take that. No more pressure plate. Oh, they didn't stick it in the back of that one. Why the hell does my light keep going off? More guns that I don't use. Go right into the technical and right back into the rocks. All this to get into one place. Find one thing. Picking up the trail. I 
find the Garden of Eden. Like the Garden of Eden? Jesus. Now look at all the gore. Roaches! I hate roaches. Now try and hide from them! Mama hits harder than you. She's dead. Yeah, give me some fucking space, why don't you? And we got atomized. He just gets shot in the, in the side. <laughs> no God. more games. Time to die. Well, if you do it first. No gun for you. Ah, what a shithole. Dude, they got poos. The hell could be living in this place? Other than the obvious super mutants. Never anything exciting in those rooms. Game's over. Yeah. You maybe. <laughs> the asshole comes tumbling down. Thank you. Everywhere. Assholes. Also everywhere. He <laughs> face planted right into the top of it. That's too funny. Thanks for the frag grenades, loser. Another one? We're gonna eat that fucking toilet in a second. Yeah. Ugh, ugly. Yeah, you're the ugly ass face. Much better. I would laugh my ass off if he actually fell in the toilet. Back. There we go. Where did this lead, I wonder? What the shit? That's way harder than that. Three concentrated lasers right into your fucking eyeballs. I think it's best that you go out blind. Crap. Just 
somebody close that door. We got some goodies to pro procure. Joint illustrate, another laser rifle. Also, this is trash! Trash. What the fuck? Where the hell did you come from? Oof. Poor bastard, didn't stand a chance. Well, that can't be good. Pity you can't shoot through windows. Son of a bitch. Excuse me, I just have an explosive personality. Yeah, I probably deserve to die for that bad one. He dies first. Fucking bitch! Sweet! Yeah, what the hell are these guys keeping locked up? There was an error in that statement. Allow me to fix it for you. Now, let's see. How many of these are gonna blow your fucking head off? God, what a pain. Alright, where are the new ones? No weakness. Karmic balance. Escalator heaven. It's instantly set to very good. Trying to get one in particular. Um, where is it? Aha! Ten to damage, poison, and radiation resistance, and ten points to energy skills. So I guess next I'm gonna go with uh, more science. Or I can just change that here. There we go. Cyborg! There we go. Now everyone's happy. Not only can I take more damage, but my... But my brand new... 
energy weapon skill that can make through the roof. I am so sick of fighting these damn things. So and so, oh my god. I'm gonna say if you're so unstoppable, why did you just die? Oh my good gravy. Close that. These are humans in the process of the of turning into super mutants. This is one of my failed experiments. Especially that thing. Nothing in that one. Close that damn door. There. Share a cell with your fallen brethren. Hmm. Nothing in this one. Rat metal. Chief Physician's Terminal. Latest subjects in the evolutionary experimentation program are showing some promise after only a single exposure to the FAV. Currently testing five studies, two males and three females. Each of them have one. This under 24 hour observation is usual. You hope to have a breakthrough in this strain as the continual pressure from Vault Tech and military in Mariposa is becoming most bothersome. Vault Tech was behind this too? Couple results after only three days, subjects, blah 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 blah. All of our female specimens are exhibiting a unique change. Their bodies are undergoing severe physical changes, losing most of their visible female indicators, and are transforming into an almost asexual state. We are also seeing increased upper body strength and muscle formations in line with males. Similarly, our male specimens are losing most of their visible male indicators. Are taking on the same asexual state as the females. It seems that the FAV wishes to level the playing field and start with a clean slate as it works. Had a minor setback. Subject Mary Kilpatrick is now deceased. According to my outtouch, she died of a massive loss of brain function and is unable to sustain her basic bodily needs. This is the usual pattern you see in all the FAV strains we test. The brains of the subjects are becoming too damaged to support even the most basic human needs, eating, sleeping, etc. So far, all the other subjects are nominal and can you exhibit physical changes. Jesus Christ. At 10 days, we are now noticing that the skin, while our remaining tough subjects are thickening and becoming more resilient. Seems to be the FEV bringing about some new adaptive change. This is the kind of result we were looking for, adaptations that prove useful in combat situations. I need to remember to congratulate Dr. Philo on his skin engineering. His code instructions on the strings can be exactly what he expected. Once again, I've hit that damn wall. At 14 days, all the test subjects began to exhibit severe bouts of rage and anxiety. So much that they were a danger to my team and to this facility. I had no choice once again but to order them to be destroyed. It pains me every time to do this. The same cycle has been repeated in every string we test. We always see superior physical adaptation, but the mental changes are their downfall. Oof. That's a lot to take in. Of course. You! Over there! Uh, please! Uh, come speak to me! Uh, I'm in the room to your left! Oh, use the intercom next to the window! A super mutant? Uh, hi? It can't be! Over you! They're quite real! I am going quite mad! Could you actually be a pure human? Friendly Super Mutants. Now I've seen everything. No! Must you use that vulgar term? Yes! 
I was born in the FEV chambers. But a super mutant, I certainly am not. I prefer the term metahuman. <laughs> Suits me better, don't you think? Perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. My name's Fox. How right that the others consider you a mutant of their kind. What do you know of the Gek? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Would you help me? Because you can help me. Let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. Take me with you. And I'll retrieve the Gek. Why would I have difficulty in getting the Gek? The chamber in which the Gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely. How do I get you out? At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Alright, Fox, you got him to heal. Glad to see you are a sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. Okay. It is my Wire's key. Oh, of course. First, I want to see if there's any enemies roaming about. Yes, there seem to be. Hi, Fox. What in the hell? Jeez, that's right. They're fucking warping out of the rooms, man. Okay. Ah, crap. Damn it. Let's get so close. Where's that stupid sweet spot? We're in our body pins before this shit's over. Ah! Crying out loud. God, was that so difficult? Yes, it was. All I want to do is just sleep in a bed and call it a day. Why is that so difficult? I'm going to kill everything here. Game's over. Bad chance, asshole.
enjoy. Pulse mines are going to do anything to these assholes. The frag mines might. Yeah, this is a fair price. See how you like stepping on these potatoes. Ah, fucking doors. Come on, you piece of shit. I'll kill us all! Pain in the scrot. Holy crap. Oh, thank God there's no enemies. Because I just blew them the fuck up. I need a nap. Oof. Okay. That's it. And ready for action. Beds all over the place. Oh, I guess I'm more actually ready for this to end, unfortunately. Don't worry, Fox. We'll get to you next time. So, that's going to be it for this part. And next time in Let's Play, let's replay Fallout 3, we're going to rescue Fox, and we're going to get our hands on the Gek. And hopefully... We can get through this without much more vomit-inducing imagery. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!